2024 for me and Momo. Okay, all right, all right. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. I am going to be decluttering my life and I really want to share with you guys my top tips for decluttering, for reorganizing your life. January is all about fresh starts. It's all about reevaluating things that don't serve you anymore. So the first thing that we're gonna be decluttering is my garage. Because we don't have a lot of storage in our house, our garage ends up being the place that we just store stuff. This drives me absolutely crazy. Extra bins, cardboard boxes, our recycling normally goes here. And it's just a mess all the time. Then on this side of the garage, this is kind of like Guang's tool box kind of area. We have things that need to go up in our loft. For example, we have these lights. This is like my X2 shop over here. Ugly ass post-it notes. I feel like all of this can go and it can be labeled a lot nicer. I also do my little mystery bundle bags as well. Look at all of my sunglasses. They just have no rhyme or no reason. It's just like a big jumbled mess. So all of that needs to come out and be reorganized. We have things like skincare, more skincare. I feel like this can be organized with like cleansers, toners, moisturizers. And then we have things like my travel skincare. You just have to kind of like rummage, but it's just a bit of an I saw. This is the epitome of a junk drawer. We have so many wires that needs some organization. We should put all of our wires, I think, in maybe like little bags like this. I really like the idea of just having everything in these little IKEA bags so that you can kind of go through. Really, we should mark them so that we know exactly what's in here. Okay, we need to organize my lip products. One of my habits that I'm going to form is actually trying to tidy up and clean as I go. I feel like I'm very much one of those people that always makes a mess wherever I go and then I wait for a massive clean up at the end of the day slash at the end of the week. Okay, so I stacked all my new lip liners there. Oh, just look at that guys. It's so much more better and organized rather than just having all the lip liners just like out there in the drawer. These are all of the lipsticks, the lip glasses, and then we've got lip liners here. These are the items that I'm deciding to discard. Brand new NARS lipstick, but I've lost a little bit. And what we're gonna do with this is gonna have to go in the bin. Then we have some liquid lipsticks from Jaclyn Cosmetics. These are so old now, you can see they're separating. I don't think Jaclyn Cosmetics is even a thing anymore. There's so many products that are so old right now. Like, look at this. I remember using this when I was a makeup artist doing bridal makeup. <laughs> Why is this still in the garage, girl? Why? Bye-bye, sister. I also have this contour powder from Kevin Aquan that is so beat up now. So it's time to throw her away. Another thing I'm planning to reorganize is this kind of cupboard space that I have going on here. Previously, we had all of our alcohol displayed on the countertop, but it just looks so messy. So my assistant came around and she helped put away all of the drinks. 2024 is not a year that I'm gonna get litty, unfortunately. <laughs> We're putting it all into the past. So we decided to actually install plug sockets inside of this little cabinet here so that we always have access to our toaster and our Nutribullet. Before it was always in a cupboard and we always had to constantly get things out and then I would never wanna toast anything. I also have all of these old glasses that I'm actually gonna put upstairs in our loft. I'm sure my assistant will tell me to throw these away but I'm sure one day we're gonna need these. It's always a treat whenever I come up here. Get back like, down. Oh, oh my god, it's actually so clean and organized up here. But well, it's not clean, but it's organized. We have things like our suitcases here, camera, that droppy stuff here, all of our Halloween stuff and makeup bags. All of our Christmas decorations are over here. One day, this is gonna be a huge master bedroom. I think this is gonna be like the wow of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. This trunk is meant to be filled with all of my eyeshadows. And guys, because it's down here, I never think to squat down and rummage through here and look through my eyeshadow palettes. This is a very bittersweet moment for me because I went through this era of 2016 where your makeup was popping, the cut crease was creasing, and I have so many palettes like this Jaclyn Hill 
eyeshadow palette. This was a moment in time. It's also not me anymore. It's also not relevant anymore. I don't think you can even buy these anymore. And I just don't know what to do with it. Will be amazing if like a makeup artist or something. So maybe I'll donate it to any makeup artist out there. Let me know if you're interested and maybe I can send you guys out like a whole box filled with like eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that because this is just sitting in here collecting dust honestly. I have things like this Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. <laughs> Don't even know what Jeffree Star is these days. Oh my god. No, I have to keep this. This is my Hit The Lights palette with Morphe. This is my collaboration. Like this little area right here. Oh no, I have to keep this. This is like more for memorabilia. <laughs> James Charles palette here. Will I ever use this again? Like it's honestly been sitting here for the last two years. Oh, I feel so sad. I feel like I am departing with my past self. Who remembers? Dragon Beauty. This face palette was so iconic. I don't even know where Nikita is. I hope she's doing well, but I think she's closed down her cosmetics brand now. So what am I gonna do with this now? <laughs> Just feel so guilty for getting rid of these products. I feel like it's definitely stems from childhood or something. I feel like it's that inner holderness that I feel like guilty for giving these away and I feel like I should keep on to these memories. It's a problem. Now these products on the other hand, I do not mind getting rid of. These are all like old and expired makeup. Like all of this, look, it's all separated. Like look at this guys, this is like, pure liquid and water and when i open up it really stinks the next thing on my list of things to declutter is my phone honestly i go on my phone and i'm bombarded with so many newsletters and just things that i am no longer interested in so i done a little bit of research and i found this app called clean fox once you signed in, it kind of gives a scan of your inbox. So you basically swipe left if you want to unsubscribe. And then you also swipe right to the brands that you want to stay subscribed to. So Mars Label. I am a Mars Label fan. So now I'm just going to go back and forth and literally just swipe to everything that I want to unsubscribe to. And literally just in five, six minutes, my inbox is now clear. Next, I'm going to go on to my photos. Guys, comment down below how many photos you have on your phone. I have 77,000. This, for me, is a bittersweet one because I love keeping memories. I love scrolling back and, you know, just having the option to have the photos there. So what I normally like to do is I like to go through all of my screenshots. I literally have 2,500 screenshots. Girl, we do not need that many screenshots. So I'm just going to press select all. Delete! Another thing that I like to do is I like to go through my Instagram, look at all the people that I'm following, and sometimes I just like to have a little purge. Sometimes you just want to go on your For You page, find new inspiration, new people to follow. Like, look how beautiful this girl is. Like, that camera quality is so nice. And sometimes you just need new inspiration, you know? That is something that I recommend to do, to go through, find new people that you actually enjoy watching, that uplifts you, that inspires you, so that every time you go on your phone, it's actually something that is inspiring rather than you feel like oh com constantly comparing yourself to or their content constantly makes you feel like shit i feel like with social media it's like a double-edged sword there was a time whenever i opened up my phone i would constantly keep feeling this jealousy and comparison and feel really shit about myself because i would always keep comparing myself and that is very low vibe energy that's something that i really want to like take away from my life this year because it doesn't serve you. I've been reading this book called Manifest and honestly, like it's changed the way that I started looking at things. I know for me, I'm trying to change my mindset as much as I'm doing like a declutter of like my actual physical products in my life. I'm also doing a mental declutter as well. I also feel like it's very important to look at the things you have cluttered in your mind, things that brings you anxiety, unproductive, all of the bad habits that you slowly accumulated over the years. Like that is something that I'm really trying to make a mental note to get rid of this year. Something that I also recommend decluttering is all of your apps that you no longer use. I have apps like Misguided. Like I don't even think they're even around still. So needs to delete that off my iPad. I have this robot app, but I don't even have the robot anymore. I gave this robot away. Just having your home screen not be as cluttered anymore just makes everything look so much more cleaner, more organized. You can find things a lot better. Another thing that I'm doing to declutter for 2024 is going through all my subscriptions. 
There are probably so many apps and subscriptions that you signed off for. And even if it just takes out, you know, five pounds a month, all of that actually adds up. And if you're not using the service, then you should definitely take this time out. Just go through everything that you subscribe to, any standing orders, any direct debits that no longer serve you anymore, that you're no longer using. It is time to unsubscribe, girl. I have this horrible thing where I keep signing up to Audible for their free trial and then I delete it and then sign up a new email. So we're gonna see the magic that they've done. Fragrances we've kept at the bottom. We've okay. grouped it by brand to make it a little bit easier for you to find what you need. Then we move up into false lashes. <gasps> and as we said, you have got space. So yeah. we know that these categories are gonna expand because you're gonna be sent more. Moving up to brushes and applicators. Again, space at the back. You don't have to fill it, but it's there. Okay. And then lips. So we've tried to make this as easy as possible for you to find. So we've put wow. all of the colored ways up. And then moving up to blush and highlight. to concealer and foundation again we've tried to keep all the colorways up so you can see what you've got yeah. and that's all your setting sprays <gasps> at the back oh my god amazing bronzers contours and powders hair sprays and then hair tools oh my god this makes so much more sense because this drawer was overfilling before yeah. yeah so this is all your serums <laughs> yeah. i've got a lot of serums <laughs> we've basically given you an entire drawer per category because again we think this might grow a bit and then cleansers you've got a lot of cleansers wow cleansers is my yeah. thing i do love a cleanser yeah. 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 And then we've got body, so all your body moisturizers, oh God, so deodorants, better. anything that's due with body. Wow. We think this might be the most amount of sunglasses <laughs> we have ever worked <laughs> with. Yeah, we've just, you know, sorted it all wow, out, so all your aviators. So good. <gasps> that is amazing. It's a very strong sunglass yeah, game. Yeah. It is. And then this is obviously your travel. Oh, do you know, this brings <laughs> me so much joy. <laughs> and Denise, we've kept that travel theme with your travel bags. Okay. So they're Amazing. all in there. <gasps> yeah. Mirrors and sort oh, of electrical yes. beauty oh, God, bits. Amazing. Yeah. And then totally unbeauty related at the bottom. So I'm just finishing up the day writing in my journal. I really want to do a whole video about this new mind shift change that I really want to accomplish in 2024. So let me know if you want to film that video. I realized after filming this video that I really have a problem with letting things go. This always comes around whenever I have my assistant over or when I had Gemma and Hayley here today. They were just looking at all my stuff and they're like, why don't you just get rid of it or why don't you just you know donate it or basically throw things away and I don't know why I have such a hard time letting things go I always have this fear of like oh it's such a waste and oh I don't want to get rid of it because I might want to use it one day is something that really holds me back from living an abundant life. I feel like I've always lived my whole life in this like scarcity mindset of like, oh my God, what if I lose that one day? Or oh my God, what if I need that one day? I'm always in this like anxiety state of mind where I just feel like I'm constantly on survival mode. And I just don't wanna feel like that anymore, guys. I wanna be able to let things go. I wanna be able to just give things away, knowing that it's gonna to go to a better home. All of those eyeshadow palettes that I showed you guys earlier, why do I feel this like, oh, I might use it one day? Girl, I haven't used it for a year. What makes me think that in like three years time, I'm gonna like dust off that palette and be like, oh, I'm gonna use this palette. By then there'll be like a hundred new palettes that come out, but I just feel this like, I don't know, the sense of nostalgia, the sense of like, oh, I don't want it to go to waste or, oh, I don't know what it is in me. I feel like it's because I've lived my whole life like scared of like spending money and like scared to do things. As much as I'm showing you guys all the real superficial things that I'm decluttering, I also feel like it's really important for us to also declutter our mind and declutter from old habits that no longer serve us. That's why I really encourage everyone to go through, unfollow people that no longer serve you, that no longer align with your goals, that no longer align with who you are today and who you want to become. Honestly, like having a journal has made me really reflect on myself and made me think like, why am I like that? Why can't I just be a minimalist that literally just has like one lip balm and one blusher? Why do I feel this need of like, 
oh my god I need like 10 different blushes I don't know what that is and that's a journey that I'm definitely going to be going on this year and a journey that I really want to take you guys on so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this declutter video it's not just an actual declutter but I hope it inspired you guys to maybe like change different things that you just do subconsciously day in and day out and not have no thought to it and maybe like just reevaluate the habits that you have for yourself the goals that you have for yourself because this is the year guys that I'm gonna like change not only my life but my mindset for most of my adult life I've always had goals when it comes to like, work but I've never been in this space where I really wanted to focus on like me and my mental health and self-love and all that kind of stuff but yeah it is literally like 11 p.m at night time I'm meant to be asleep now but I wanted to end the video just by saying happy 2024 we are on this new journey of self-love and I really hope you guys can join me along this journey and like just fuel yourself with better habits for 2024. Read more, wake up early, have a good morning routine, have time for yourself, make the effort for not just people around you but make effort for yourself. You know the saying, you can't pour from an empty cup and all that jazz. That's it for this video guys, I will see you guys next week. By the way, next week's video, we have a little special guest. <laughs> my friend Danny is coming. He hasn't been on my YouTube channel for like over a year. He's going to be coming over. We're going to be doing all of our goals for 2024 and just reflecting on the year. So if you guys have any questions for my bestie Danny, then comment it down below because we're going to do a little Q&A. Hope you guys are excited. Hit the thumbs up for that. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye. <coughs> oh my God, I'm so ill. Can you hear the congestedness? Oh, that's not very sexy. <laughs> Even though I'm ill, I feel like I'm forcing myself to be productive. I'm like, bitch, just relax. Just relax. Also, I'm currently watching Harry Potter and bitch, when I tell you, I finally understand the Harry Potter hype. I have this Mar, Mar, who's Mars? Oh shit. Hello there. <laughs> You like that breath? <laughs> I love you so much, Rolo. Everyone says that you're such a sweet doggy. That's just my baby doggy. That's just my baby doggy. Good boy. Look at your little paws. What is it? It's a little paws. Oh, oh hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. It's like a spy machine. <laughs> it's like one of those spies, you know, in the subway. <laughs> when they put their little eye up there. <laughs> Upstairs here, there's a forest of pigeons. Oh, you can't really hear them now, but every morning I hear them, hoo hoo, cuckoo, cuckoo, and they made that little nest up in our gutter, and it's so annoying because I can hear them every morning chirping away. Oh, do you guys like that view from down there? Let me just shake on this rusty ladder. Ah!